GBG family, something special for you today. You get to train with me, Coach G. Yes, it's a follow along workout. And the theme is in season basketball training. So for all you hoopers that are looking to stay strong all season long, do this workout. Let's get into it. For the first portion of our workout, let's get into our prime time. So we want to raise our heart rate, raise our temperature, get really, really warm and hot. Okay, let's get into a push-up position on a bench. Okay, and all you're going to do is a mountain climber. Just be sure that you keep your trunk super stable. Don't let your hips drop like this. All right, we got 30 seconds. Let's get into it. Making sure that your palms stay heavy, super light on your feet. Okay, strong through the shoulders. Try not to let your hips rise up. Okay, keep your hips down. About halfway into it. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but we gonna keep rocking. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna mix in a little bit of mobility now. A lot of hoopers have tight hips. So we're gonna do a pigeon on the bench. I have a towel here to make it a little more accessible for some people. So the knee will be placed on the towel. The foot is basically parallel with the bench. Back leg straight. Okay, I'm gonna place my hands on the bench with a nice tall spine kind of fold forward until I feel a really big stretch here. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds, breathing. You might start to feel yourself sink into it a little bit more. Go ahead and let that happen. Just as long as you're not rounding your spine, avoid your spine flexing or rounding over. Okay, in about 10 seconds, we're gonna gas this stretch. And basically what I mean by that is contract the muscle that is being lengthened. Three, two, one. So let's push down into the towel and then bring our hands up into our chest. Now, I understand that this is gonna be difficult for some people, so an another way to do it is just lighten up on the hands. So you can keep your hands here, but they're just really light, so I'm still feeling a lot of tension in my glute. And then just hang out here and breathe, about five, four, and relax, good. And then place that same foot on the floor and kind of fall into this hand supported hinge position. So my right leg is up in the sky and my left leg is supported. And I'm just gonna open my hip and close my hip. And an easy way to think about the range of motion that we're achieving is let this float knee cross the back knee or cross behind the front knee. So open, close, and you'll feel a big stretch here on the closed portion and maybe a big stretch in your groin on the open portion. And we're gonna do 10 of these, so about four more. Nice and smooth. Try to keep the spine tall, avoid rounding. Nice and tall, last one here. And then we just switch sides. So move the towel over, place the other foot on the bench, hands down, knee on the towel. You may feel one side's more tight than the other. Achieve that nice tall spine position. And this one, we're just kind of holding the stretch. Find some breathing. Feel yourself kind of melt deeper into the stretch again without rounding the spine. And really focus your breath into your hip. Holding this for about 15 more seconds. Maintain that nice, tall body structure. Super disciplined with your spine. Okay, in five seconds, we're gonna gas now. Pushing the knee through the towel and then lining up through the hands. So for me, I've been doing this a while. I can be here for the duration that we're holding for, which is about 20 more seconds. And just focusing on being super frozen throughout the entire shape or position, avoiding any rounding of the spine, bending of the back knee, okay? Keep everything locked in, focus on that contraction. Breathe in. Okay, we got about five, four, three, two, 
and relax. Okay, same leg that's being stretched is going to be down on the floor. Of the leg is high into the sky. And now we do our open and close. Open, big groin stretch. Back knee crosses the front knee. Close, big side butt stretch. Ten of these. Open, close. Try to follow my tempo. Don't go ahead of me. Stay with me. Breathe in. One of the common mistakes here is people try to open a little bit too much. Just keep the hips in your mind's eye, okay? That open hip, that free hip is just opening towards the wall here and then closing towards the opposite wall. And you should feel your support glute start to burn a little bit. Okay, about three more. Pay attention to this support knee as well. Try not to let it flow in too much. Keep it right over the shoelaces. And good, okay. Back into our ramp or our prime, which is our faster movement. We did running in place. So now we're just gonna do the same type of pattern except come across the body. So this is gonna be for 30 seconds. This is slow motion for you. Think about your opposite knee to your opposite elbow. Heavy palms, y'all ready? Let's get it. Rotate those hips. Coming across the body. Heavy over the palms. Start to feel your trunk light up. Maybe your shoulders, elbows locked out. For me, I feel my core. Eight seconds. Light on those toes, guys. Here we go. Finish strong. Three, two, and relax. Very good. Ooh. Recover from that. Okay. Now we're going to go one foot on the bench. Back knee going to drop straight to the floor. Okay. Now, obviously, you're not going to get to the floor, but you want to sink down as much as you can. Avoid falling towards your front leg. Okay. We're going to take our opposite hand across the knee and then reach up with the opposite hand. Okay, come home, drive across the knee, press. We'll do 10 of these. Okay, now when I reach across my knee, I'm actually gonna push my knee in as I reach. So you'll notice there's a lot of contraction, a lot of activity in my body as I mobilize, as I stretch. And the reason for that is because energy through the system with length is how we create mobility. So you want to be super active in all of your mobility work as it pertains to warming up or training or working out. Three more. These last two, check this one out. Open, push in, get to your end range, take a deep breath in, and come out. Last one, open, press, big open here, deep breath in, and then we switch sides, very good. Ooh, shake that out. Other foot up. Similar precision, just matching it up on the other side. Drop the back knee. Okay, nice and tall on the spine, avoid rounding forward. This time is this arm coming across, pressing in as I, oh, I got a little pop. Press up. Yeah, who needs a Cairo when you can self adjust, huh? Just kidding. Reach across. But one of the things, though, that we do want to empower our people, our athletes is, you know, be accountable for yourself. Don't rely on other people to have to fix you or help you. Like, what if you could just do it yourself by watching this video? <laughs> Push in, press. I think we got about five more. And then you'll, oh, another one. And you'll notice it'll start to get easier and easier. What you also know is this back leg should start burning like a mug. 
Last two. Press. What are we doing? Deep breath. Last one. Come across, press, deep breath. Very nice, guys. Whew. Shake that out. Okay, this will be our last super set in our mobility portion of our workout, and then we'll get to it. Okay, same setup, except this time we're gonna go push up position, feet on the bench. All right, so it looks like this, very simple. Let's really quickly talk about positioning here. Okay, obviously we wanna avoid this to avoid any low back tension or low back pressure. And we also wanna avoid bending our knees. So we're super strong and tall like a wood plank. Okay, you should feel a lot of tension in your core. And also try to keep your hands super heavy. So if I have two weight scales underneath my palms, it's 90% of my body weight. So from here, very simply put, lift the right leg come across outside the right hand reach up the key here is slow on the return so push through those hands strong and then slowly return let's switch sides lift outside the hand reach strong through those palms as i kick back you should feel a big core contraction Oof. if you noticed my back leg wants to bend, okay? Really try to think about locking that quad out as you step over or outside your hand. As you can see, I need to work on this one myself. Always something to work on, people. Lift. Lock that back knee out, Coach G. <clears throat> It's okay, you can coach me up too. Nobody's perfect here. We all try to get better together. Lift. Oof. Try to avoid holding your breath because that's what is gonna be the natural, the natural reaction is to hold your breath, but let it out. And back home. All right, here we go. Hey now. Let me get myself together. Um, back to the bench. Last mobility exercise. We're just gonna be hands here. Kind of like in a push-up position, I guess, but we're gonna just focus on one foot. So feet together, heavy palms. And then we're just rocking back. Kicking the sky, knee through the gap, the hand gap. So I'm kind of flowing into this, I guess, up-down position if you're a yoga guy or girl. But the key here is, is what is my float leg doing? It's kicking up to the sky as high as possible and then driving up knee to chest. So focus on that float leg moving in its greatest range of motion in both portions of the movement. And that's where you get a lot of bang for buck in terms of the mobility of the stance leg. Two more. Last one. Okay, we'll switch sides. We'll just pedal. Go ahead and pedal with me for a little bit. Get a little bit of recovery here. Now I'm switching sides. Once again, kick the roof. We call this scorpion kick. Drive the knee into the chest as hard as you can. Fluid with your motion. Take your time. Don't go ahead of me now. Stay with me. Motion is lotion, people. Whew. By now, your heart rate should be at a pretty good rate right now in terms of blood pumping. You should have a little glisten, a little, a little sweat going. I know I do. Oh, and we should start to feel pretty primed up and ready to go. Let's get this workout in, Mike G. Two more. 
maximize those end ranges. End range here, maximize, maximize, maximize. End range here, maximize, maximize, maximize. All right, how y'all feeling? I know I'm feeling pretty good. So that's the warm up. That's the prime time. We're gonna take a little time to set up for our lift. Let's get after it. All right, guys, we are warm. Our heart rate is up, we got a nice glisten. I'm feeling really loose and I think it's time, it's time. Remember, this is an in-season workout for hoopers. So we're gonna do an isometric load in our lower body, but we're still gotta take care of our upper body, right? So we're gonna do a press and a bent over row. So the setup is very simple. All you need is dumbbells, a bench, a foam roll, preferably this length. I think this is 36 inches or three feet and a wall. Now, when you choose your weight, you have to be mindful that we wanna choose weight that we can do tw uh, 10 reps of bench press as well as 10 reps of bent over row. So the weight determination is gonna be predicated on how heavy you're gonna go in your upper body. Our lower body's super strong, so that's not gonna play much of a factor, but think about what you wanna press and what you wanna pull for 10 reps. We're gonna go three rounds, one minute in between, okay? I chose 50 pounds. If you wanna try and keep up with Coach G, go ahead and knock yourself out. But again, it's all about what you wanna do, all right? Let's get to it. So the setup is very simple for the wall sit. Foam roll is gonna be about at the lower back. Weight's already on the bench. Okay, I'm gonna reach forward and grab my load, all right? Feet are gonna be slightly in front of you so that when we sink into the bottom of our wall sit, we're right at 90 degrees at our knees, as well as the foam roll being right at the middle of the back. Okay, quad should already be barking at you. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Okay, maintain really good upper body shoulder posture, nice and tall with the spine, the head and the neck is in alignment with the upper spine, the T-spine, and you're just kind of hanging out going into your happy place my happy place is on the football field even though i know this is for basketball players but i played football for those who don't know and i'm just hanging out here focusing on my happy place if your grip becomes an issue you can rotate those hands down that makes the grip strength a little less reliant three two one boom we just stand right back up okay Allow the foam roll to drop and we're walking forward and having the seat on the bench. Okay, now we're in our chest press. Laying back. Oh. Start at the top. Weight shouldn't be too heavy because again, we knew we were gonna do 10 reps here. Okay, let's go. 10 reps, look at my tempo. Well, you can't really look at my tempo because you're working with me, but the tempo is very slow or control, so on my way down, three, two, one, on my way up, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, I believe that's four, we got six more, five, six, hang in there with me, yep, let's get it, last one, don't cheat, Okay, this mount's important. Dumbbells together, knees up. Make contact with your thighs. Right into a bent over row. Foot position is relatively narrow. Okay, so maybe hip width. I'll go ahead and pop up. Fall into my hinge. Forefoot are heavy, not heels. Forefoot, tall spine. Let's bang out a row. Again, tempo is critical. Nice and slow up, nice and slow down. Halfway. Maintain your back posture. Do not round that spine. Three more. Two more. Last one. Pop up, don't let go yet. Let's come back around and place our dumbbells right where we got them. Boom. And that's set one, guys. And now we rest for a minute. You can have a seat while you rest, which is what I'm gonna do. Focus on your breathing. 
really good breathing strategies do two short in long out in through the nose long out through the mouth that helps the heart rate come down brings the nervous system back to homeostasis and then it gets you ready for your next set you got about 20 more seconds at around 10 we want to start getting ready getting our mind right for set two because we got to stay on schedule we got to stay on schedule same setup okay now i have a little more familiarization with what i'm doing less talking more action let's get it yep <sighs> secure that my grip is already failing on me so i'm gonna go ahead and relate right into that downward dumbbell hold make sure i get into my 90 and now it's happy place <sighs> think about your why think about every day is a day to get better or worse because you don't ever stay the same and we're getting better today we got 10 seconds hang in there you can do anything for 10 seconds five four three don't uh, stay down now let's get up ah, very nice let that drop straddle that bench go for a little walk Get that mind right. Let's take them for a ride. Let's get it. Whoop. Yep. First red don't count. Remember the tempo. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Stay with me. Down. Up. Down. Up. Halfway, people. Let's get it. Up. Yep. Up, seven, up, eight, dos mas, up, last one, and blast two, yes sir, knees up, find your thighs, set your foot posture, roll up, fall into that hinge, soft knee bend, four foot heavy, y'all ready, let's get it. Make sure you pull to your back hip pockets. Don't pull up to your chest, pull to your hips. Halfway. Ooh. Come on, G. A little self-talk ain't hurt. Two more. I think it's two more now. Making sure y'all paying attention. And if not, a little extra credit didn't hurt nobody. That's round two, baby. You earn that minute, take it. Remember our breathing strategy. Hoopers, when you're at the free throw line. Not a bad idea to practice this method of breathing to get your mind centered. Block out the fans, block out how you're playing. Focus on the breathing. That's your focal point. Empty your mind of clutter. Because we got one more set. When the beauty about this, if you chose lightweight, you can go heavier on the next set. All right. Last set, best set. Let's get it. Let's talk in more action. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, let those hips go below the knees. Ooh, ooh wee. Train it with G. Yes, sir. We all get into greatness because greatness breeds greatness. Stay with me. Oh, I lost track of time, so we must got to go over than under, right? Tall posture. Let's go 15 more seconds. Why not? Unless you want to quit, I know you ain't going to quit. Because if I ain't going to quit, you ain't going to quit. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. 
Oh yeah. That tickled. All right, let's get it. Walking forward. Get your mind right. Y'all ready? Let's get it. Hey, yep. Shit, that's the easy part right here. Whew. Ready? Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Don't bounce. Down. Up. Halfway. Down. Up. You got this. Down. Up. Finish strong. Three more. Down. Up. Down. Up. Hold this. On this last one, we're going to hold. Hold the bottom. I'll tell you when to come up. Down. Hold. 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 Stay with me. Hold. Up. Yes. I got to keep you on your toes. You know what I mean? Woo. Feet together. <sighs> Let's get to it. Finish strong, guys. I'm in here with you. I'm sweating, breathing hard, getting better. I do this. Let's get it. Slow and control. Pull to the hips. Tall spine. No bouncing, no momentum. Halfway. Come on, G, stay, stay solid. Stay solid, two more. Stay solid, last one. Hey. Hey. Yes, sir, Beyonce, how do you do it? Up there dancing around and hope maintaining that greatness. Hats off, but on another note, practice what you preach. You know, for all my coaches and trainers out there, if you can't demo and qualify what you believe in, nobody will believe you. Players, training in season is critical. We did a full body workout. We were less stressful on our legs, but everything still got worked and we feel amazing after. All right, so walk in your greatness daily. Signing out, Coach My G for GBG. See you next time.